hi friends welcome to my channel and to today I am going to show you how to clone Windows Server 2003 machine on on uh, VMware it will work on VMware workstation and VMware vCenter and VMware ESX servers all so that's why I have told on VMware so let's go I have one Windows Server 2003 machine which is installed on my VMware workstation So here it is. Please wait. Loading your personal settings. I have just installed Fresh Windows Server 3 machine and done the Windows update. And just we are ready to clone this machine. So we have logged in and if you want to verify the operating system I'm going to click on my computer right button properties here and also I'm going to reset the network configuration I'm going to make it automatic for taking the IP address from DSCP and here you can verify the server name Win2K3 master and operating system version Windows Server 2003 R2 Enterprise Edition Service Pack 2 so just cancel it and just go here and configure all to take the IP address and DSCP inf uh, DNS information from DSCP server and for cloning the machine we have to run sysprep on every machine which needs to be cloned so it will reset the SSID security ID for machine and reset the all uh, required information which is related to individual computer so to run Windows Server Access prep on Windows Server 2003. We have to mount Windows Server 2003 installation media because sysprep files are stored in Windows Server 2003 DVDs. So you can go here and select. Um, I am just map the Windows Server 2003 installation media here, and I'm going to open it and under the support folders you will see folder name called tools and open it and under the deploy old.cap file if you double click it you will see the list of files which is stored in cab deploy.cap file and going to extract it and select C drive make a new folder SYS prep click on extract select the folder and click extract it will extract the all files on C drive sys prep folder close it and just go to C drive so here we are on the installation sys prep so before running the sys prep we have to run setup.manage file to create an Ansel file for sysprep and Windows Server 2003 you must have to run sysprep manager file before running the sysprep so welcome to setup manager click next and what we want create a new answer file or modify the existing answer file so I am going to create a new answer file so select a create new and here is three options unattended installation sysprep and R uh, RIS so unattended is basically unattended file for CD drive sys RIS is basically used for remote desktop deployment of Windows Server 2003 here I need to run the sysprep setup because I want to clone this machine so I'm going to select the sysprep setup and click next and select the your operating system Windows Server 2003 enterprise editions and click next and do you want to run the fully automated installation no I don't I don't want to run the fully automated installation so it will show you the, give you the list of all tasks here I am going to specify my name with a thing and my 
company name vector infosol.local and you have to verify your time zone so I'm going to verify my time zone here and product key information leave it and license information computer name use automatic or generate new so I'm going to click automatic generate computer name and I want to set my password for administrator account for my clone machine so I have just typed my password and if you want to join this machine in domain then put the domain information here otherwise I'm going to make this machine in workgroup only so leave it default don't need to change anything so we are almost done so I'm going to click on next verify everything and just click on finish now so it will create a one sysprep and INF file and sheaf drive sysprep folder and the file name called sysprep.inf click ok so here you can see you have successfully completed a setup manager and create the following file here the path a file you can see the file here so now we can run the sysprep.exe file so now I'm going to run the sysprep.exe it will show you the running system preparation setup can modify the computer security setting so after you run the sysprep windows will automatically shut down no problem click OK and here is the system preparation tool 2.0 and I am going to click on reshell so it will give you the message to generate SSID click OK to go back to change setting click cancel so I want to generate the SSID and shut down the computer here you can see the shutdown mode shutdown so click OK and now you can see in few seconds system preparation tool is working here the system preparation is working so the server is starting down now so the server is completely shut down now we can create the clone from this machine so now I'm going to right click on this machine and from manage you have to select the clone and welcome to the clone virtual machine wizard click next and now you will receive a option if you have taken the snapshot then you will get the snapshot option here otherwise it's not highlighted here so I'm going to take the clone from virtual machine current status so I have selected the current state in the virtual machine click next because we have run the sysprep so here is the two option clone method create a full clone or create a linked clone and and create a full clone you have a copy of all the hard disk with independent and here you can see a linked clone is a reference to original virtual machine and require less disk space to store however it cannot be run without accessing the original virtual machine so I'm going to create a full clone here create a full clone click next and type the name of machine whatever you want to set here so I'm going to set here win 2k3 clone and click finish 
so now you can verify VMware Quotation progress bar it will showing the cloning, cloning and system preparation operation system cloning operation done and creating full clone so it will take a few minutes depending on the size of the hard disk which is used by your operating system and then it will clone the operating system because it's create a full copy of your VMDK files so just wait for a few seconds so now you can see the little green bar here it means the virtual machine is cloning now and hard disk cloning is initiated by this wizard so just wait for a few more minutes so the cloning is almost 20% done you can see from here So now you can see the all task is done. Click close button, and here's the clone machine Win2K3 clone machine. And now, if you want to check out, just power on this machine. And if you want to make a more clone, you can right button and just press follow the same step. Go to manage and clone machine. So I'm going to just power on the clone machine which is created right now I just have powered on this machine you can see the machine is booting up you can see please wait while windows prepares to start so now you can verify the windows operating system version windows server 2003 enterprise edition and it's showing please wait it's applying the setting which is taken from answer file or just prep inf file so just wait for a few more minutes once the, once the, uh, the required modification is done in machine from the information file it will reboot the server one more time so welcome to the setup wizard click next I accept this agreement next and now it's applying the few installation and saving settings and the server is rebooted now So we are on control to Dell page, click control to Dell and I am going to type my password which is entered in answer file and it's applying setting now. So if you want to check the computer name it will must be taken from random so here it is and the network configuration so what we need to do 
if you want to use this machine as a file server we just need to rename this server whatever name win 2 k 3 like file server f01 and join machine in domain and configure the IP address and the machine in node production so this is all about cloning the windows over 2003 machine and VMware and thank you for watching please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any suggestion any question you can write me mail on my given mail ID and thanks once again for watching bye bye